Hello YouTube, welcome to my IK sprayer and foamer review. Wanted to share with you guys about these sprayer and foamers that I found. Uh, I was looking for something well constructed, had a good miss on the, the sprayer pump, and also the, uh, the, the design of it. Uh, I found a lot of the designs of these sprayer pumps to, to be like a garden sprayer look, like some type of weird green look or obscene shape. So I wanted to find something real simple, real nice looking and then also have that nice miss on the pump. Uh, these were about $15 a piece. Uh, the foamer sprayer I don't see myself using very often but I went ahead and picked it up for this review. Uh, three units shipped were uh, $20 for freight and then like I said they were $15 per unit. Uh, these, uh, the, the spray pump itself is a one liter. Uh, comes with the adjustable nozzle. You can do a fine miss or a, a big stream there's actually three different sprayer pumps you can pick up uh, one for multi-purpose one for alkaline product and one for the HC which is kinda I guess like uh, oils and solvents and things like that uh, for this one I just picked up the multi-purpose for the cleaners I'll be using through it uh, the construction on the build was fairly very durable the bottles you know your, your PVC plastic I'm guessing and the pump itself is well constructed what I love most about it was the spray trigger is actually built into the handle and then the pump is actually have a handle itself and like I said the, uh, the the nozzle is adjustable and then your pressure relief valve here um, I don't see a problem with these you know taking a couple drops or two um, I haven't dropped it myself I don't plan on it but I, I don't find it a problem if you do accidentally drop it the fan nozzle here uh, I don't plan on using a fan nozzle very often but they did include it which is nice uh, but let's get into the review. In this part of review, I am checking out the mist setting on the sprayer. Uh, the sprayer is closed, the nozzle is closed all the way, but it actually doesn't shut the unit off. It just leaves it in a super fine mist setting. Um, I love it. I don't see any problems with it. And this is probably the setting I'm going to use all my sprayers in. And here I am using the sprayer nozzle in the stream setting. You can actually get it in the straighter stream than this, but I found this setting to be very strong in pressure. Um, if you pumped it up to the very maximum and shot a panel and it had some type of dirt or something on it, you could probably have enough pressure in the pump itself to spray off that dirt. In here I put the fan nozzle back onto the pump. It is leaking a little bit. I didn't tighten it enough. But as you can see the fan is a perfect pattern. I loved it. I don't see myself using this very often. But I wanted to go ahead and include it in the review since it did come with the product. Um, many, maybe some of you guys will be using the setting or the fan nozzle. Uh, so here it is. I wanted to test the sprayer to see how much product it would use with about 12 to 13 pumps. I've went ahead and filled the unit up with water to about the one liter mark and sprayed the panel until it was trickling a little bit and I found that it used about half or under half of a liter. Uh, pretty impressive in my opinion. Uh, I don't see myself being lazy to pump up the unit but with the amount of pressure it, it shot out along with how much product was used, I found it very nice.
so with my old sprayer i think it was the solo sprayer from amazon it didn't hang from my rack very well so i wanted to go ahead and test it see how it hung uh, i love it it's a little big and bulky but it hangs a lot better than the solo sprayer for the next test we'll be using the foam sprayer here i'm using half of an ounce of mcguire's hyper wash to one liter of water um, I didn't really mess with many dilution ratios with this. I just went ahead and used half an ounce to see how it goes. I don't see myself using hyperwash inside the hand sprayer very often. I normally use hyperwash inside my foam cannon with the pressure washer. Um, like I said earlier in the review, I'm using this just to show you guys how the foamer will spray. With the foamer, I did find that you did have to pump it up quite a bit to get a good dry foam. Uh, they advertised a dry foam with their, their foamer. Um, I think about 15 to maybe 17 pumps is what you're going to need. If you don't pump it up very hard, the foam will come out fairly watery. Uh, the more you pump it, of course, the better the pressure, the, the better the foam. Um, here I'm using the foamer. The nozzle wasn't turned the way I wanted it to, but as you can see, the first time I foamed it, it was kind of runny, but then I pumped it a little bit more and the foam got much drier. Um, I love the dry foam. It tends to cling a little bit better. And with uh, about 20 pumps here, I was able to cover about a door and a half, I guess you can say. And I kind of oversprayed the panel. You could do about two passes and that would be enough foam to actually cover the, the area um, but I love the thick thick foam so I went ahead and sprayed about three to four times um, I think a one liter could do about a half of an SUV uh, you may have to refill it the second time to do the other half For this last part of review, I wanted to find a dry panel and pumped up the sprayer about 20 times to see how the foam would do. Uh, it comes out very dry, clings very well. Uh, this is the way they advertise it and I, I love it like this. Uh, but like I said before, I don't plan on using the foamer very often. Although IK's official YouTube uh, video advertised them using it on upholstery, I guess that could be very handy if you have an extractor or something like that. Uh, simply put whatever product you want in the foamer, pump it up, and then spray it on the upholstery so that way the, the foam will lift any dirt and then you can use your extractor behind it. Well, that's it for the review, guys. Uh, I'll put all the links and stuff in the description. Uh, if you have any comments or questions hit me up in the comment section below and thanks for watching my video